Welcome to CS61A. I'm your professor, Dr. Sahai. Welcome to Humanities 111, guys. CS majors are expected to work between 80 to 100 hours per week, but honestly, that's on the low side compared to what I did at university. I'm so excited to get to know each and every one of you because all of your stories matter. Before class begins, let's play an icebreaker. My one rule, I demand excellence. Anyone up for a rock, paper, scissors tournament? I'll have you know, I never lose. If you're stressed out, get used to it or switch to business or something. In this class, mental health is our tip, tip, tip. C++ doesn't care about your feelings. Tip, tip, top priority. If you feel overwhelmed or stressed in Anyway, please talk to me. I'm here for you. I don't give a shit if you come to class or not. It's your loss. I would be heartbroken if I didn't get to see each and every one of your smiling faces every day. Question one, proof P equals NP. I'm not gonna tell you what any of that means because that'd be giving away the answer. The first assignment is Harry Potter chapter one. I know it's the first day, but project 1A is due tomorrow night, so better get to it. It's due next month. I'm gonna take this class nice and slow. Every line must be commented, even though I'm never actually gonna look at your code. Let's understand Harry's trauma. No code on Piazza. TAs will not debug your code. Drago was a product of his white privilege, unlike Harry. Did you just give me the brute force solution? Did you know that Dumbledore was actually gay? Who the hell do you think you are? In this class, JK Rowling will now be known as she who shall not be named. My office hours are between 5 and 6 a.m. every Saturday morning. None of you guys are gonna come to office hours anyway, so take it or leave it. Also, we're already behind because I forgot to release the course materials beforehand, so you guys will figure it out. By the end of this class, I expect each and every one of you guys to have gotten an A. Or I, I have failed as a professor. If more than 10% of you guys get A's, the CS department is not gonna like that. Every assignment is a group creative project. So you're all competing against each other. I suggest no one help each other out. I have never reported a student for plagiarism and I never plan on doing so. If one of you even so much as looks at another student's code, I will personally make sure you're expelled for academic dishonesty. When I catch someone cheating, my first question is what is going on in their home life? Did you know 25% of the academic dishonesty reports at this university come from me, just me? What systemic, societal issue made them cheat? No, forced them to cheat. We're using Gradescope for assignment submissions, so you need to use a makefile. But we're not gonna tell you what a makefile is or how to use it. You'll just have to figure it out when you're submitting your code. In terms of essay submission, you can send me an email, you can share with me on Google Drive. Our automated grading scripts only look at the output, so if you have even one character wrong, you're gonna get a zero. My one rule in this class is partial credit always for everything. Do you expect me to read through your half implemented functions and give you partial credit for it? For the final, it's just a capstone creative project. You guys have the entire semester to work on it and submit it online. The final's at 7 a.m. on Christmas Eve, but it's the only time the CS department gave me. Anyway, we're gonna end class early. You guys can take the rest of the day off. Looks like we have about five minutes left. That's enough time to start the next chapter. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, shoot.